The rest of the house looks like shit. The outside of the house has just been dilapidated. You know, it's not looked well after. So 19,900, so that's about 20K. Uh, 10,000 in interior cosmetic renovations that I could tell just from the few pictures that I had. So that takes you up to 30K. 7K to vinyl side it. We're now at $37,000. If you have to replace furnaces, it's going to be three grand a piece. Okay, so that's six thousand dollars potentially. Hot water tanks will be uh, one grand, so that's two grand. Uh, electrical, you're probably looking at about maybe like two thousand dollars, maybe three, four thousand dollars of electrical work. So as you'll see, the budget can can really go up. So if you had to do all of that, you would be looking at twenty thousand plus the stuff I already mentioned. So that's another seventeen. So that takes you to thirty-seven thousand. And then if you had to do the two furnaces, that's six. We're at 43 plus two hot water tanks. We're at 45. And let's just call it 5,000, which would cover our electrical and our other miscellaneous costs. So you could very easily uh, get into this property for $50,000. Now, I don't know if that's exactly the case, but it could be 50. Plus, you got a roof. Based on how shitty the rest of the house looks, I'm assuming that roof is probably messed up too. So that 50 uh, could easily turn into probably 56, maybe 57. We'll just call it 57 thousand dollars and for that reason alone um i will deny this deal now it's three bed one bath in each unit the rent that we could potentially receive would be 650 a month okay even though it's three bed you may have seen a lot of my other content on holton wise tv and when we have three bedroom duplex units typically we're renting those for much higher like 750 maybe almost even 800 dollars uh with this one though i think we're going to cap out at 650 and uh, the primary target for a tenant would be a Section 8 tenant, um, but it's still much lower. Now, normally, $1,300 for a $57,000 investment, that would be a hell of a deal, man. That would be solid. Uh, but in this case, this deal is James Wise denied, and the reason being is the location. Uh, this is actually an F-class neighborhood. Um, like in a lot of these analysis uh, videos, right, like I would go in, like, because we have a potential gross rent of $1,300. And then I'd like to break down the numbers with you. I would go over your capital expenditures, uh, your repairs, vacancy, water, sewer, lawn care, you know, things of that nature. But I can't do that with you um, on this particular property because the neighborhood is just so bad. Like this is... This is one of the most blighted and dangerous neighborhoods in uh, the city of Cleveland. So any like reasonable metric that I normally utilize uh, when I make these analysis videos for you folks, um, it would be disingenuous because I, I don't know if this property is going to perform anywhere near that because like these are very, very tough neighborhoods and like the property's vacant, right? And I added in, when I got that 57, I added in the idea of doing those two furnaces uh, doing some electrical work, the hot water tanks. You gotta understand, in a neighborhood like this, when a house is empty, we saw a boarded up window. The reason being is people probably broke in. All the copper, very possible that all the copper has been stolen out of this home. Maybe even the copper wiring. Like you'll get copper thieves to come in. Like this is just a very, very rough and tough neighborhood. I want to show you something. Like when you guys are looking to buy properties, you can do this research on your own at home. Like you might look at the particular property, okay? And you go to your Google Street View here. Let me plug us in here. And you're like, oh, this is a relatively decent looking street. We got all these houses. Nothing like super nice, uh, but it's, it's not necessarily the most horrible thing in the world. So you might be thinking, oh, this looks similar to a C-class neighborhood, right? Because this is kind of what a C-class street would look like. And then you see your particular home, and you're like, oh, this is the shittiest house on the block. That's that's good, right? Guys, we're real estate investors. Buying the crummiest house on the street is typically what we want to do. But you got to look a little deeper than that, okay? If we go to the sky view, let me make this big. All right, it tells like a completely different story here. All right, so this is you. This is your house, and we just did the Google Street View up and down, and it looks halfway decent. So we could kind of paint the picture that it's a relatively decent neighborhood. But if you look closer, right here, okay, that was a house that got torn down. So that's one. Over here, that's another house that got torn down. That is two. Over here, three, four, five, okay. And then up here on our street, six, and then here, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So there is 33 homes within a map shot of this home where the house got so dilapidated so bad that it was smarter to just tear the home down. <laughs>